So now I have the old command prompt, and I'm going to just kind of move this stuff around a little bit, make this a little bit smaller, move this guy over as well, and make him a little smaller. Now you know that I could have actually done this by just dragging all the way to the left and all the way to the right and, and could have tiled these for the entire window. That would have been another option. But I just want to basically show you, I want to have these two windows open side by side. Because I want to show you something. I want to show you kind of the old way versus the new way. So if we first look at the old way, okay, so we're over here in the command prompt. I'm going to type in a command, and it's a command called net start. Okay, it's just one simple command. And of course, I made my first typo of the day, and it won't be my last. <laughs> and that is, it should have been net space start. <laughs> my apologies. So I type in net start. Hit enter, and what does it do? It shows me all the services that are running. Okay, that's what that command used to do. Pretty simple, right? Well, over here on the PowerShell side of things, well, let's, let's type the PowerShell equivalent. And the PowerShell equivalent would be get-service, and then put in the pipe command where object and I'll put in a bracket here. This is where it gets a little tricky. Dollar sign underscore dot status dash equals running. Now, if I type this all correct and don't have another typo, and you know what? I already can see that I have a typo. I did the wrong bracket. That's the bracket that I want to use. So let me go back and fix that on both sides. There we go. If I have typed it all correctly, hit enter, there you go. I get all of my services that are running. Now if I scroll back up, let's look at that line once again. Which was easier? Net start or get dash service pipe where object bracket dollar sign underscore dot status dash EQ, which I said equals, that's what it stands for, EQ for equals, in quotes, running. Which is easier? Well, many people will say net start is easier. And, well, from a typing perspective, it is. From a memorization perspective, it may or may not be easier. Because net start is something that I just had to know. It didn't necessarily logically make sense. It may logically make sense once I learned about it, but originally it may not have logically made sense. Whereas this does logically make sense, right? We're, we're doing a query. We're saying get the services where the objects in that query have a status equal to running. It makes sense. So some will argue that that is more intuitive. I will also tell you that regardless of whether you thought that net start was easier or the get service command was easier, I can tell you that it's certainly more flexible. Okay, PowerShell gives you so much more capability when it comes to the capability of what it is that you're trying to script, what it is you're trying to perform, what the query is you're trying to make, what the action is you're trying to take. So much more flexible. Now, from there, let me go ahead and let, let, let's close these windows. Okay, we're going to get out of Command Prompt, get out of PowerShell. I'm going to show you that there is an even better PowerShell environment, especially if you are somebody who is used to the GUI. Okay, used to the graphical user interface. If you're not somebody who likes to work heavily on the keyboard, if you're not somebody who likes to work from the command prompt, 